Hello, hello, hello. Very nice to be here with you. <clears throat> Pardon me for clearing my throat. I, I spend my day talking too much. <laughs> and in a school that I work in. And sometimes, at the end of the day, my throat gets a little rough. So I have my water. And I want, to, I want to invite all of you to make yourself very comfortable and to sit in a cozy place and to tell you right off the bat that in this particular practice, it's not uncommon to fall asleep. <laughs> and it's okay if you fall asleep because when you're asleep, your subconscious mind is what's driving your experience, your dreams, and all the thoughts that you have while you're asleep are brought up by your subconscious. And it, it very often invites you to look at stuff. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit before we begin, just to sort of give you the sense of where we're going. Um, all of your best answers can come to you from your subconscious mind. And meditation for, for thousands of years has been directed at abandoning your attachment to the physical world, abandoning your attachment to the things that you always think about. And monks, I've spent a lot of time in Asia. I lived over there for a year in, in China, and I've been back 18 times. And I've been to many, many temples. And... Uh, there are all these traditional methods that people use. They light incense, they burn candles, and they chant, <clears throat> and they do all this stuff to find a pathway away from their thinking, active, they, what a lot of people call monkey, M-O-N-K-E-Y, monkey mind, where our, our thoughts are diving around and jumping around inside of our head. And it makes it really hard to feel like you're getting anywhere when you meditate because your mind is going to your lunch or it's going to the appointment you have tomorrow or the fight that you had with your, your partner or, or something that happened at work. And the moment you begin to relax your mind instantly, bang, go someplace else. And that's okay because the way theta meditation works, and this is what I am going to do, what we're going to do together, it gives you something else to look at. It gives you something else to think about so that you're not trying to not think. You're just giving it something to focus upon. And the theta, it's called theta because the theta is the brainwave that you arrive at just before you go to sleep. And if you think of it as like the surface of a lake, so this is a wake up here and this is a sleep down here. And we're sort of dipping our toes into the lake. And sometimes we slip and fall in. <laughs> and that's when we go to sleep. But you come into it, into it, you come into sleep, you come out of sleep. And uh, it's, it's all good. So if you're comfortable, you know, you can sit with your legs up. You can sit with your feet on the floor. It's nice to have a glass of water nearby. And uh, <clears throat> to have any distractions that you might have in your life set aside for the moment, turn away from your phone and just breathe and relax. So the first thing we're going to do uh, in a moment is begin breathing for eight or 10 counts to sort of get our bodies set up to be able to do this. And I'm going to take us on a journey today that goes inside of our bodies and looks around inside of our bodies and then travels down to our feet and out the bottom of our feet into the earth and then back up from inside the earth into our feet again and back up through our bodies and then to the top of our head where we have in various belief systems you know energy points we've got the chakra up here the top chakra this is the fontanelle when we were babies it was soft where our skull was coming together. A lot of activity can take place up here. 
So we're actually going to come up and look at this place, and we're going to rise above it a little bit, and then enter that again, and calm ourselves down inside of our bodies, and then come out of this. And the whole process will oh, take 15 or 20 minutes, and we'll come out the other end, and we'll sit quietly for a minute. And anyone that wants to say anything or ask anything after, after that point, you are more than welcome, and we'll listen and, and respond. And this, there's no mystery to this. And uh, one of my goals as a teacher of this is to demystify things and let us all know that this is something we're designed to be able to do easily and that we are invited to do it any time that we want to. So are you all comfortable? <clears throat> I'm going to just have a little sip of water. And uh, there we go. Relax. And we're going to take a series of breaths that are designed to help us relax, to calm our nerves, and to calm our bodies, to help our blood chemistry be nice and balanced so all of our organs are relaxed and feeling happy. And so the technique is we're going to breathe in and let it sit in our bodies for a moment and then breathe out and sit empty for a moment. And you can keep your eyes open or close your eyes, whatever makes you most comfortable. Cover up with a blanket, sit with a pillow, and let's start with a nice big breath in from the, through the nose and out through the mouth. And just let's be quiet for a moment. And now we'll breathe in, a gentle breath, not too much, not too little. And let it sit in your body for a moment and then breathe it out and remain empty. And then breathe in and then out and sit there empty for a moment and then in and out. And in and out. And in and out. This is number six. In and out. Seven. In. And out, eight, in, and out, two more, nine, in, and out, and in, and out. And now just sit quietly with your eyes closed, please. And I want you to sort of be in your eyeballs, your actual physical eyeballs. I would like you to look through your eyelids. If there's some light in the room where you are, you may see the little blood vessels in your eyelids. You may notice shapes and movements through your eyelids. If you have a pet or if there's movement somewhere in your, in your environment, you may see a shadow pass across your eyelids. And really study the inside of your eyelids for a moment. See some details. The only thing faster than the speed of light is your imagination. And everything in the world is the result of someone manifesting the physical side of their imagination. So imagine you can see all the details of your eyelids from the inside. And now we're going to take our first step. 
I would like you to step backwards into your head. In other words, take a step out of your eyeballs and step back into your skull. And I like to visualize, instead of my eyes now, two windows that are right in front of me. My windows, give them some detail. My windows are very basic windows. They have blinds on them that are the pull-down kind that flap up and down when they, <clears throat> when they get weak. They roll up and slap around. Around my windows, I have no shades at all except those, those pull-down ones. And it's like I'm standing in my attic. And as I take another step backwards, the windows are now about two feet in front of me. I begin to notice the wall that the windows are in. And both windows are very clear. And I can see outside them, but everything outside is a bit of a blur. And I'm going to take another step backwards, further into my head, as though I was in an attic. And I begin to notice the roof in this room. It's a pitched roof. It's rafters. It's not finished. Perhaps your room has a finished ceiling. As I look, take another step backwards and I look around a little bit in, inside of my room up here, I have one picture on the wall on my left side. It's a very small picture. It's about 10 inches in diameter. And the walls are unfinished as well. They're just studs, old looking wood. And as I take another step backwards, I can notice the floor. The floor itself is an old wooden floor. And it's quite clean. A little dust here and there, but the, the room is pretty clean. And now what I want to do is place myself into a little vessel, like my own little flying saucer almost. It could be a, an inner tube, it could be a raft. But whatever it is that I'm choosing, I'm going to be able to sit down inside of it and be comfortable and just float in it, inside my room. And as I climb in and sit down, my little vessel is round, got a cushy seat, and I have a clear view of the entire room. I can see that picture on the left, the windows that are about 15, 20 feet away, actually, at this point, I'm way back in my room. And I can look up at the ceiling and I can see a, it's like an opening in the top of the ceiling up there. And now I can sort of look down outside of my little ship toward the floor. And I notice that the floor has become transparent. And as I look through the floor, I'm actually looking down inside of my own body. I can still make out the boards of the floor, but they've become so they've, they're translucent. They're, they're not really there. They're, almost like drawings at this point. And I realized that if I want to, I can begin to sink into my body. So I'm gonna to begin to sink now in my little vessel, my little spaceship, and I'm lowering it just with my mind. I'm sinking down. I can see the room, the attic in my head begin to rise up above me as I descend. And I can look forward and I can see my mouth moving. And as I sink further, I can begin to look down and see the top of my rib cage. I'm imagining those bones. 
I'm drawing as clear a picture of my ribcage as I can in my mind. And as I sink down a little further, I begin to see the colors of the top of my lungs and my heart. My heart is red. My lungs are sort of silvery. And as I float down, I'm going to enter my rib cage toward the back side, toward my spine. And I'm going to continue to sink down. And now I can begin to hear my heart beating. That very smooth, low pulse. I can look forward and see my heart. And as I look to the right or left a little bit, I can see my lungs expanding and contracting as I breathe. And I'm going to focus for a moment on the sound of my heart beating. And I can even feel the pressure of my heartbeat. It's very subtle, but I can feel it inside of my chest. And as I breathe, I'm going to sink a little bit further. And I begin to descend more and approach the bottom of my lungs in front of me and here on my left and my right are my kidneys, right at the bottom of my lungs. And they're off, off my left hand and my right hand. My lungs are in front of me, and my left hand and my right hand are on my kidneys. And I can actually reach out and touch them and see what they feel like. They're a little slippery. And now I'd like us all to sink a little bit further And we can begin to see our intestines and we sink a little bit further. And if we look down, I'm looking down inside from the top of my left leg. And it looks like an elevator shaft. I can see the bone of my left leg. And I think we, I'm going to go down there. So let's sink down there together. See inside your own left leg as though it's an elevator shaft. And let's gently sink down. As I go down, I see my hip. And my hip looks good. It looks happy. It looks healthy. It was a little banged up before, but it's healing. I can see the places where it was injured. And I'm just going to look at them and invite them to heal even more. And send them a little bit of love. And I'm going to sink down a little bit further. I can look inside the bone. Like I have x-ray vision. I can look inside the bone and imagine the blood cells that are being manufactured in there. I'm going to sink down a little further. And now I'm at my left knee. And I'm looking inside of my left knee from the back side. And there's my knee bone the patella and all the tendons connecting to it. I can see the color of the tissue. There's red and gray and white stretching off in all directions. Everything looks happy and healthy. And I'll sink down further on the lower half of my leg toward my ankle. And I want to see what this looks like. So I'm going to look over the side of my little ship here. Look down at my ankle as I descend toward it. As though I'm coming down to the first floor in my elevator. And as I arrive at my ankle, I see the bones and the connective tendons. And everything looks good. It's a little swollen. Twisted my ankle yesterday. But I'm going to invite that little injury to heal. Let it know that I recognize it's there and that I'm inviting it to feel better. And now I'm going to look way over. It's like a football field down here. I'm looking way over this, the inside of my foot. And far, far away, I can see my toes from in the inside. And right down in the middle of my foot, I see a little percolating. It looks like a coffee percolator. 
And that is the point at which my focus is going to turn. And I'd like us all to sort of fly over to that spot in your foot. It looks a little like a swimming pool or maybe a hot tub percolating away. And as we approach it, we can look down through it and imagine you can see the floor or the ground under your feet. And see through your house or wherever you are, down to the actual earth, down to the dirt. And go ahead and stick your head down through that hole in your foot and look around and see what you can see. I can see definitely some dirt. And I can stick my hand and my head actually down into the dirt and I can smell the dirt. It smells good. It smells clean. And if I stick my head into the ground a little bit further, sort of like an ostrich, I can actually begin to hear the sound of the earth. A low hum almost, like a hum. Ooh. And I can feel the temperature of the earth. It's nice and cool. Well, I'm going to withdraw my hand and my head from the earth now and come back up through that hole a little bit. And make my way back over toward my ankle. And get myself, I stepped out of my little vessel. <laughs> I'm going to climb myself back in there. And as I climb back in, I'm going to look up the inside of my left leg. And now it looks like I'm in a tower at the first floor and I need to go up the elevator. So I'm going to begin to rise up. And look at the bone as I go. And I rise further and I'm approaching my knee. And here I am again, looking at the back of my knee, and I pass by that and begin to rise the upper half of my leg. And I make out the hip. And I'm going to give it as much detail in my imagination as I can. I want to see the color of the bone, the shape, how it connects to the side of my pelvis, pelvis and see that it is indeed healing from that injury that I got. And now I'll rise a little further back into my lower torso. And I can see my intestines. And I can see that everything is working well there. No blockages. No cramps. Oh, wait, what's that? Oh, I do have a little cramp over there. So I'm going to look at that cramp and invite it to relax. And the simple fact that I know that it knows that I'm looking at it, it will work to relax. And now I'll rise a little further. And I come up to my diaphragm muscle, which is on the bottom of my lungs. And I can see it supporting my lungs. And I can see it supporting my heart. And I can see it supporting my kidneys from the back. And I pass my kidneys once again. And I'm feeling warm, actually. And as I approach my heart, I can hear it. I'm just going to pause here behind my heart and listen to myself breathe and listen to my heart beat for just a moment. And I'm going to turn up that sound in my imagination so I really, really hear it. And now I'll rise a little bit further and I approach the top of my rib cage again, sort of coming up my spine, looking forward at my heart and the top of my lungs. And as I continue to rise into my neck, I can see my vocal cords working. I can hear myself talking as though I am in the back of my neck. And I rise a little bit further and I can see my mouth moving like looking out of a cave from way in the back. 
And now I look up and I'm looking back up into that attic space at the top of my head. <laughs> that empty room. <laughs> I always find that view funny. And as I come back into that space of my attic, I look forward about 20 feet and I can see those windows. The blinds are open, that picture is still on the wall, the floor is still wood. And I look up and notice that opening in the ceiling that I, that I saw when I first started this journey. And because I'm in a little spacecraft here that I can float up in, I'm going to float right up to that opening in the ceiling. And I can see the sunlight through it. And I'm just going to put my fingers on the edge of that, about two feet wide relative to my size inside of my head here. And I'm just going to pull my head up through it a little bit and look out at the room that I am sitting in, that my body is sitting in. And as I stick my head through, I can see, I can see the screen in front of me that I'm using to talk with you. I can see the window on the other wall. I can see the dresser that's on my left. I can see the shelf that's on my right. And I can look up and see the ceiling with the lights that are shining down on my body as it speaks to you. And now I'm just going to dunk my head back into that hole and get back down into my attic and float down toward the floor, that clean old wooden floor, and step out of my little vessel here. And suddenly I'm able to stand on that floor. And I'm going to gradually take a step toward those windows. And another step, and another step, and I can see that picture on my left. And it's as though I am walking past that picture and getting closer and closer to those windows. And now I'm right in front of those windows, but they're still windows. And in my mind, in my imagination, I'm going to convert those windows. I'm going to change those windows as I step into them. I'm going to change those back to my eyeballs, my actual physical eyeballs. And I'm going to re-enter my eyeballs and see again through the lids of my eyes, the shadows in the room, the light as it passes in front of it. I may begin to notice other shapes in the room through the images I can see through my eyelids. And now that we're back in our eyeballs again, we're going to take a few more breaths, five more, before we open our eyes. So let's breathe in and out. Number two, in and out. Number three, in and out. Number four, in and out. Number five, in and out. And now just sit quietly for a few seconds and relax. And I'll bring us all back together in a few moments. Enjoy the stillness. And when you're ready, you may open your eyes 
And I would love to see your faces. Because I can always tell by people's faces how they did. <laughs> and if you have any questions or want to say anything, you can. If you want to just sign off and enjoy the piece. I hope you enjoyed this. And I look forward to seeing you again. But if you would like to ask something or say something, you are more than welcome to do so. Those of you that I can see look like you had a nice trip. All right, everyone. See you next time. Peace.